Stephanie Yu. It's not every day a kid gets the royal treatment from a pig. But this is no ordinary pig. First of all, Stanley comes when he's called. Come here, Stanley. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good pig, good pig. And he's very useful around the house. He can answer the phone. And you can put trash in the wastebasket. And even put money in the bank. Stanley can do all these tricks in about 12 more because he's been trained. The easiest animals to train are mammals. Stanley's a mammal. You and I are mammals. And killer whales are mammals. That's one reason they can be trained to work at SeaWorld. Mary met some killer whales and their trainer. I'm at SeaWorld in San Diego, California, looking for trainer Chuck Tompkins. There he is. But what's he doing? funny making all these gestures what does that all mean i was communicating with my friend with this beautiful animal that chairman of the killer whale well how do you communicate well just like you and i communicate by talking with one another i have to communicate in different ways with shamu and the way that you just saw me communicate was through hand signals and body language oh so all those gestures were really signals that's right what I have is a specific signal that I give Shamu, and he knows to do a specific behavior on that hand signal. For example, all I have to do is move my hand side to side, and Shamu knows to move his head side to side. Oh, so when you go like this, Shamu responds and does a specific behavior. No, see, we have to be very careful. You weren't being very specific. Your hand was flat. My finger was out, oh. and I was moving it side by side. Now watch as I move my head up and down. Oh, he nods his head up and down. That's right. Now what's he do? <laughs> He's waving his fin. That's right. So Shamu is watching me very, very closely. He knows that each hand signal I'm giving him has a specific behavior. Well, it's really incredible that you can communicate. I mean, he's on the other side of that glass wall in the water. How does he see us? Well, Shamu has excellent eyesight. His eyes are designed for his environment because he needs to not only see out of the water, but in the water. In his natural environment, killer whales are top predators. They eat anything and everything found in the open ocean. Polar bears, penguins, sea lions, larger whales. So they have to have that good eyesight to be able to spot these animals on beaches, ice floes, and maybe far out in the ocean. How do you get Shamu to learn which response goes with which signal? We call that approximation training. And all that simply means is we take a very difficult behavior and break it down into very small steps. Let's say I, I want to teach Shamu to raise his flipper. What I would do is touch his flipper, and as soon as Shamu started to raise his flipper, I would tell him, good boy. Now, what I'd eventually do is I would touch his flipper, raise my hand. And after through that association of the actual signal of touching the flipper and raising my arm, Shamu would start pairing that signal with that particular response. So after a while, the whale would just respond to the hand signal and not need the touch too. 
That's right. Shamu would know that as soon as I lift my arm, that would be his signal to raise his pectoral flipper. Now, during that approximation training, we can reinforce the animal in a variety of different ways. Remember I said, tell Shamu he's a good boy? Well, there's all sorts of different ways that we can tell Shamu he's doing a good job. We can do it through rubbing the animal down. We can feed him sometimes. We can play with him. We can jump in and give him play toys. But the thing that he really enjoys the most is us rubbing him down and playing with him. I've got to get ready for the presentation. If you could do me one favor, during the show, make sure you watch and listen, and watch the signals and watch the responses. But just before I go, Shamu, there's one more thing. play the show and I'll point them out to you. Here's the first one. When the trainer's two feet touch the whale's nose, that's the signal to jump out of the water. The trainer slaps the water and the whale responds by jumping over him. This signal is done out of the water. It means go around the pool and jump. Here are four signals. Stay up and shake your flippers. Stop, but stay up. Nod your head. And here's the reward. Good boy. Sometimes the whale just imitates the trainer. The trainer walking tells the whale to keep turning. Touching the flipper means to keep going, but grabbing the flipper means stop. Danny, let's go. How did Stanley learn how to do that trick? He learned how to do it the same way you would teach any animal to do any complicated trick, by breaking the trick up into steps and then teaching each step one at a time. Step one, learning to climb the ramp. At first, he didn't catch on. But after a while, he got the idea. Step two, sliding. It looked like a long way down, but when he tried it, he liked it. Okay, now let's look at the whole trick again. And the fans are cheering. That was terrific, Stanley. The tricks that Stanley does are just for fun. But some animals are trained to help people who really need help. Robin met one of these animal helpers. Greg Slane has a special friend, Willie. Good girl. About a year and a half ago, a diving accident paralyzed Greg from the neck down. So Willie is learning how to be his arms and legs. Door, Willie. Door, Willie. Willie. Come on, girl. Good girl. She gets books for me. She learned how to open the TV doors so I could watch TV. And um, she puts a sandwich holder in, into the sandwich place so I could eat a sandwich if nobody was home. Good girl. Well, Willie fetches a mouth stick, which is a very important tool to me. I use it to type with, to dial a phone, to answer the phone. 
to turn light switches on and off. It's really mainly my hands in a way. And any time I drop it or anything, Willie will go and pick it up for me and put it right back in my mouth. Monkeys aren't born to be human helpers. They have to be trained, like Freeway, a student at Albert Einstein Medical College, where monkeys learn to do un-monkey-like things. We're training monkeys like Freeway, capuchin monkeys, to be helpers for people that are paralyzed from the shoulders down, people called quadriplegics. Mm -hmm. And they do simple little tasks for them around the house. They live a good 30 years. They're very physically hardy. They Dr. M.J. Willard is an expert in animal learning. And they're very bright. Well, how long does it take her to learn everything? It takes about six months, about an hour and a half a day. That's not too long. No, it's not really. Not when she's going to live for 30 years. Well, what, what do you start with? What's the first thing you teach her how to do? Well, the very first thing we do is we teach Freeway that when she hears the bell, she's done something right. And we do that by pairing. Each time we ring a bell, we give her a little bit of food. Freeway loves that bell. Now, in this case, we're going to teach her to bring a container of water or juice or whatever. She puts it in a feeding tray, which will be on the, on the quadriplegic's desk. And she opens it. She opens it. Sure. And put a straw in. All right, now that's a hard behavior because there are several steps to it. So we're going to break it down and teach her each step. In a chain of behaviors, though, we always teach the last part of the chain first. And since the last part was putting the straw in, that's what we'll have her do first. All right. Freeway, Freeway. do this. You do it. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Hey, baby. Freeway, do this. Come on. Do this. Come on. Good. It, straw. Good girl. Good girl. And she can do the whole thing. She's a little excited there. <laughs> now, the very last part is to put the whole chain together. That means freeway, you have to do this. Come on. You can do it. Very nice, Freeway. Very good. Oh, you're so fast. After graduation, the learning doesn't stop. <laughs> Have you really grown extremely dependent on Willie? Well, right now, I'm not really dependent on her. But in the future, I could see where she'll be doing just about everything for me. Little things like getting a drink and giving me the mouth stick is important to me. Because mm -hmm. I, I have to have enough liquids during the day, just like everybody else. So you think she'll be able to eventually, you'll be able to eventually be here alone with Willie and she can do everything for you? No problem. It's amazing how many things you can train an animal, especially a mammal, to do. You can teach animals to do things that are fun. Performing at SeaWorld or putting money in a bank. Or you can train them to do things that help people get through the day. Which makes me wonder, Stanley, how would you like to learn how to clean my room? Classroom Contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.